And Mark, you have a new piece in The Atlantic entitled Trump's Republican Rivals Are Missing, an Obvious Opportunity. You argue that, argue that now is an ideal moment for Republicans to free themselves from the former president, but they are not exactly taking advantage of it. You write in part, quote, the popular assumption among Republicans that Trump's indictment strengthens him politically shows how cowed they are, all still are. Yes, Trump's indictment is unprecedented, as his defenders keep reminding us. But this is not necessarily flattering to the former president. They perceive him to be invulnerable, and he behaves as such. In their continued awe, they see their only choice as continued capitulation. In some long-ago Republican universe, there would, in fact, be a dash to condemn the former president's words and conduct. This is not who we are, some might say, or try to claim. Sure, there could be some old-fashioned political opportunism involved here. It wouldn't be the first time. But what politician wouldn't seize such an opening to score points? Instead, the response from the GOP's putative leaders was as predictable <clears throat> as the indictment news itself. You know, and, and that is that's a great point. What politician wouldn't seize this moment? I've been wondering why a strong politician hasn't for quite some time seized, this and three other huge the legal opportunity. cases against him. <clears throat> but, you know, we heard the Republicans had a chance to make a break during impeachments, the two impeachments. We heard they had a chance to make a break after January 6th, we heard he, they had a chance to make a break after Donald Trump said he wanted to terminate the Constitution, uh, after his further calls for political violence, after the baseball bat up against the head of Alvin Bragg, and now uh, the coming indictment. I mean, Mark, they just don't, they don't want to make a break. They like this guy, and they like him so much that they would rather lose with him, as they've done for six years in a row, then when with somebody else? Why? Well, well, first of all, I mean, the distinction is they don't love this guy. They, they are terrified of this guy. And even more so, they're terrified of his voters. And, and look, this is exactly the same dynamic that we saw playing out in 2015 and 2016, which is Republicans basically just hoping that they could just close their eyes and cover their ears and this problem will go away. Someone else will take care of the problem for them, whether it's Bob Mueller or, uh, in this case, prosecutors. I mean, essentially, they are just not participating in this. And if we've seen one thing over and over again, it's this that Donald Trump thrives in any kind of vacuum of authority. But Donald Trump, if no one's going to stop him from doing anything, he's going to do it. And look, I mean, deference is is a drug for him. I mean, this is what keeps him as the putative head of this Republican Party. And look, I can't believe we're seeing another presidential cycle where they're just going to let him have it and sort of let the damage play out for all they of us are. to see. They really are. And I'll even question your point that they're hoping someone else will take care of it because it appears the law might be doing that. We will see the indictment tomorrow and see exactly mm -hmm. what's in it and see what happens after with the other cases, including the documents case, which appears to be hit, heating up with The Washington Post reporting that there is new evidence of obstruction. But even with an indictment, you have these Republicans going full on in defense of Trump, instead of just saying the safe thing, which would be, why don't we wait and see what the indictment has? They won't even say that. Right. I mean, t typically in these situations, I mean, the responsible thing for, for the any politician or the opposition, certainly even to say, is just sort of, um, look, we're, this is an ongoing criminal matter. This is an investigation. I don't comment on that. And, and, you know, again, that's somewhat disingenuous because in the background, they're just sort of hoping that um, the, the, the party that they're talking about does damage to himself. And I guess what's the old political uh, maxim? Just like don't get you just get out of the way if your opponent is imploding on his or her own, which could theoretically be what's going on here. But look, I mean, it, it's a very, very I mean, this is not in a normal situation, a good predicament for Donald Trump to be in. It is not good for a politician to be indicted uh, again in, in a normal world. 
world. This is not an uncon this is not a controversial statement, but Donald Trump, I mean, has such an accomplished, such a smooth martyr act at this point. He can be made a victim of anything, and that's essentially the platform of the Republican Party at this point. And he uses these things to his advantage in the absence of anyone saying anything to the contrary. So leave about this approach.